Hey, and welcome to this video for the Wondershare PDF Editor for Mac. In this video, we're going to be showing you the software and some of the great features that it has. So if we want to go ahead and download the software, we can head to the website. Now if we scroll down here, you'll see some of the great applications that are available on Wondershare. We're going to go ahead and click on PDF Editor. All right, if we scroll down here, you can see that there's a free trial available for the Windows version. And you can also purchase the Windows version for $69.95. In this video, we're going to cover the Macintosh version. So what we can do is if we scroll down here, you'll notice that here is a button that says for Mac. So if we click on that, and it's going to go ahead and download the DMG file onto our computer. All right, so once that file is downloaded onto our machine, we can go ahead and launch the DMG file. All right, now all we have to do is drag and drop the application into our applications folder. All right, so now we can go ahead and launch Wondershare. Now the first time that the software launches, you'll notice that it does ask for a licensed email and a registration code. So if you've purchased the software, go ahead and type that information in and click on register. You can also purchase the software from here. In this particular case, we're going to click on free trial since we're just using the trial of the software. Okay, now it's going to go ahead and ask us to find a PDF document. So I'm going to go ahead and browse to a PDF document and open that. Alright, so I went ahead and found the PDF I want to use. We can select it and click on open. Okay, so now the software is open and we can go ahead and start modifying and editing our document. So here we have a simple PDF and we have some really cool tools that we can use to edit it. Up here we have our pencil tool. So if we click on this, we can go ahead and draw on our document. And if we click the arrow to the left of that, we also have an eraser tool. So we can use the eraser tool to erase any of the pen markings on our PDF document. We also have this arrow tool here. So we can use this to create arrows on our document if we'd like to put emphasis on a particular part of the document or if we want to point to an image or text, we can use that. And if we click on the arrow next to that, we also can create boxes. And we can put boxes around our text here or around images if we'd like. Here we have our little word bubble and if we click on that, we can create a word bubble on our document and we can also overlay text on this as well if we want. If we click the arrow next to that, we also have a text box we can create and links as well. Here we have some basic text editing options so we can create highlighted text, text that's underlined or text with lines through it. Another cool thing that the Wondershare PDF editor has is the stamp feature. So there's some really cool stamps that we can use if you're a business. Uh, for businesses that want to approve documents really quickly, we have approved and not approved options, as well as some others that you can select from here. So let's say we have a document here that we want to go ahead and approve. We can go ahead and put in the approved stamp and make it nice and large. Now I've approved the document. So we have a variety of features in our menu bar here, and if we want, we can click on Customize. And here we have several more options that we can choose from. We can crop images, we can encrypt the document, merge the document. We can go ahead and split the document if we want to do that and rotate it. So there's a variety of other different options available if we click on Customize. Another really cool thing that you can do in the PDF editor is you can convert this to a Word document. So all we have to do is go up to our Convert button here, and we can go ahead and save our changes if we want. All right, and so what we can do is we can go ahead and give it a file name, and you can see it's going to convert it into a Microsoft Word document. So we go ahead and select the location where we'd like to save the file, and click on convert. You can see that the document has now been successfully converted. I can click on OK. And now it's gone ahead and opened up that document in my Word program. So now that same PDF that I was editing in Wondershare, I can go ahead and edit and modify in Microsoft Word. Now at any time, if we'd like to revert back to the original state of the document, if we made changes that we don't like, we can go up to File, click on Revert, select Revert, and now it clears any of the changes you've made that you don't like or any of the changes that have been made uh, since the last time that you saved the document. Another really cool thing that we can do on the Wondershare PDF editor is we can add security to it. So if we want to create a password for our PDF document, all we have to do is go up to File, Security, and click on Security Settings. Now you can see here I can go ahead and click on this option here to create a password to open the file. Now all I do is I type in a password for my document. 
Now I can also select to create a password so that anyone that wants to edit security settings or access management also has to type in a password. In this case, I'm just going to set it so that there's a password required to open the file. So once we've made our changes, we can go ahead and click on OK. And so now this document is set with a password. So I can go ahead and click on Save. Now if I go back to where my PDF is saved, if I go ahead and try and open this document up now, let me go ahead and open it up in Wondershare PDF Editor. You'll notice that it now requires a password to open the file. So if I type in my password here and click on return, the document now opens. So it's now password protected. If you decide that you don't want a password on this PDF document, I can go up to File, Security, and Remove Security. And since there's only a password required to open the document, that I'll go ahead and remove the password from the document. Now the final thing that I'd like to show you with the Wondershare PDF Editor is how you can actually create a PDF from a web page. So say I have this web page open here and I'd like to create a PDF from it. All I have to do is right click on the web page that I want to convert to a PDF, click on Save As, and we're going to go ahead and save that HTML document somewhere onto our computer. So I'll go ahead and save this onto my desktop. And here we can see that the document is saved as an HTML file on my desktop. If I go ahead and open back up my Wondershare PDF editor, I can go ahead and go up to File, Create, PDF from File. And if I go to my desktop and select the HTML document that I just saved, I can go ahead and click on Open. And now Wondershare PDF editor actually creates a PDF from that web page. You'll notice that the PDF document created from the web page is split into four different pages. So it actually separates it into pages for you as well. And those are just some of the many great features of the Wondershare PDF editor for Mac. Download the free trial of our Wondershare PDF editor for Mac. And if you decide that you like the software and you'd like to purchase it, you can always purchase it for $49.95 on the website as well. Thanks so much for watching this video tutorial and have a great day.